I'd hate to have to treat you like the rest of them. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you. Let the adrenaline rush into your body. You're almost there just a little bit. <sighs> Come on. You can't just give up now. <sighs> How boring. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Isn't that cute? <laughs> I can't believe I have to. Oh well, I treated you. You just up and decided to try and run away. <laughs> Couldn't you even imagine how that makes me feel? My precious little bun bun, my, my little puppy, my, my kitten, just, just leaving me. How do you think I felt when I left my precious little flower shop after a, a hard day of work and bringing you some yummy food to just see my precious little puppy gone. The leash I so kindly made for you. Nice and snug to fit that little neck of yours. How do you think I felt? <laughs> Seeing it empty. I mean that for you. Not, not anyone else. For you. And... When I went back to it, it was gone. That snug fit, that tight embrace of the collar around your neck, leashed up to what I'd like to think was one of my finest blossom trees. Did you not like it? Was it not enough? I gave you plenty of food. I know you weren't going hungry. I know from past experiments just how much a puppy like yourself needs to survive. Was the food not good enough? Was, was it not to your liking? I thought from my extensive research of you that I got everything you enjoyed. It was even freshly prepared. From ingredients from this forest. I mean, once in a while, of course, I can't keep indulging you in your favorites. Sometimes you just have to learn to eat a wolf or two. But I made sure it was prepared correctly. I mean, you weren't going to get sick. You weren't going to get salmonella. It might have looked a bit red, but I promise it's better than it looks. <laughs> I quite enjoy the taste. <laughs> I never quite understood why the typical bunny are known to be herbivores. Leafy greens get bland after days and days and days of having it over and over and over again don't understand why limit yourself to just greens when the world gives you so much more I mean the forest is bountiful and if others are just going to hunt the rabbits why can't the bunnies do the same 
What gives the other animals the right to slaughter and hunt their prey? But we can't. I'm sure you know this, but not all bunnies are angelic herbivores like you people think. They actually have a darker side to them, after all. What other animal would eat their own young? Sometimes they just do it out of fun. <laughs> I personally have grown to enjoy the chase. It makes reaching the destination all that more enjoyable. After long waiting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You think I don't notice? You think I don't notice you trying to inch away? <laughs> I admire that. Despite your legs obviously not working to the best capabilities they possibly could do, you still try to escape. As much as I love obedient puppies, I do have to say, the disobedient ones are a lot more fun. <laughs> they let me get to dry out my hunting. <laughs> oh, sorry, I would never hunt you down, my precious little puppy. Though, I do appreciate the trail you left me. You'd think a puppy is smart enough to break from their leash. When... Know that they would leave footprints behind. You didn't even try to cover them up. Maybe it was the adrenaline. I know how painful it can be to break certain parts of the body to escape entrapment. I mean, bunnies have to do it all the time. Typically, we burrow rather than break, but when push comes to shove, us prey animal will do anything to make sure that we do not fall into what our name says for us. <laughs> That's why I've decided a long time ago throughout my journey of being an alchemist I'm not gonna let your so-called destiny entrap me into a future that I don't want. Whatever label the universe decided to put on me, I'll cast it aside. I don't need it. It's worthless to me. Why should I, just because I have lop ears and a bunny tail and, you know, the features of a pun, why should I be a prey animal? Why should I have to cower in fear? Why should I have to remain as silent as possible, as swift as possible, to avoid any type of confrontation? Why should I have to do that? Just because I was born this way. It makes no sense. You are still trying to get away. After I am over here pouring my life story, my morals, my meaning, you still just try to walk away. Why? What did I do? I gave you food. I gave you love. I gave you everything you could ever want. Yet you still try to just leave. I thought you might be different. I thought you weren't like the rest of them. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I'm the fool here. I thought maybe my puppy just wanted to walk and was too impatient to wait for me. Of course I had those thoughts of, yeah, my puppy's leaving me. 
they're gone. My precious kitten, my little bun bun. They're gonna run away. But in the back of my head, I knew those were just the thoughts. They were just thoughts. <sighs> I'm disappointed. If you're going to try and escape, like prey, you have to at least be smart about it. I'll give it to you. <laughs> you somehow managed to run away from the forest, but that just leaves you in my meadow. I have to say, you're the first, the absolute first of my puppies to make it this far. <laughs> congrats, congrats. I'm so proud of you. Uh, you know, the, the stimulants that I gave you, well, I say gave, by gave I mean forcefully injected, they should wear off soon enough. I mean, you got this far, why not try to go a little farther? <laughs> Show me how smart of a puppy you are. I want to see if you can make it through the maze. I want to see how capable my maze is for keeping its prey trapped inside its pretty little petals. I want to see how sharp the thorns are of my meadow. You'll serve to be a great test subject. I'll give you five minutes. Now. <laughs> I'll give you one minute to impress me. You have one minute. Don't disappoint me. I'll be watching you. If you don't manage to make a dent in this maze, I have bad news for you. Prove that you're the puppy I always wanted you to be. Prove that you're not like the rest of them. Prove to me that you're special. Show me that my love isn't wasted. I pray that you succeed. I'd hate to have to treat you like the rest of them. The ones that got away. <laughs> I say got away, but I mean attempted to get away. Those you saw in my chambers before are unworthy. Let's hope you're worthy. <laughs> After all, they did say, if you love them, let them go. If they love you back, then they'll find a way back. If you can't even find your way out of your home, how should I expect you to become a suitable puppy for the rest of time? <laughs> you have one minute.
sorry. Did that hurt? <laughs> you were so close. <laughs> oh. Oh, you can do it. You can crawl. You can make it there. Look, it's right there. <laughs> it's right there. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Just because you can't move your legs anymore doesn't mean you can't make it. You can do it. <laughs> come on, come on, crawl. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Oh, come on, you're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, I'm sorry, did that, did that hurt? I suppose you're not exactly used to the feeling of knives in your calves, but uh, trust me, it's not as bad. <laughs> Just let the pain fuel you. Let the adrenaline rush into your body. You're almost there just a little bit. <sighs> Come on, come on. Surely the weight of a tiny bunny isn't enough to keep you pinned down. I'm not even strong. My old train is being fast. You can do it, I believe in you. Come on, you're so close. Oh, you seem to be slowing down. Come on, come on. <laughs> Just a little bit farther. Just a little bit more. Come on. You can't just give up now. Ugh. How boring. Here I thought you were different. Even with the determination in your eyes, your body is just too weak. Yes, yes, I know. Your vision's getting blurry. Your hands are trembling. It's not from fear. It's from exertion. There's only so much you can do with that weak body of yours. <laughs> Ugh, how boring. Oh well. Let's just pick you up. I'll take you back home. It's alright. <laughs> I won't treat you like the other puppies. Unlike them, you show promise. Sure, you didn't blow my expectations away, but at least you have a little bit of promise. What's that word? What's that word? Potential. You're brimming with it. <laughs> I'm sure with just a few more days. Hmm, no. A few more months of experimentation. Even you will be able to make it out of my meadow. Maybe you'll be able to make it out even, uh, even as I'm chasing you. Oh, maybe. Maybe this could be fun after all. <laughs> oh, this is exciting. Maybe. Maybe I won't be bored. <laughs> After all, our story seemed to be a tiny bit dull. I have to find a way to keep my mind at bay before I go back home. <laughs> uh, and no need for you to worry. Not that you could. I can tell you're barely hanging on. 
Well, I might as well hurry up the process. Oh, <laughs> it's my precious, precious puppy finally awake. Oh, don't worry about that. You should be able to move just fine. Well, um, when I say just fine, I mean like as fine as the rope around you will allow. I understand it can be a tiny bit tired, especially for someone as frail as you. And no need to worry, I've already patched up the little wounds you've had. I do like the way that scars look, although I've never had one myself. So, I decided to let you keep them for a reminder of something to work towards, you know? <laughs> I'm surprised you got as far as you did. I mean... Who would have thought the means you went through to just escape? Like, it must have been painful. I'm surprised you could even get that far with... I can only imagine... Dislocation in order to escape the bounds you were in. <laughs> that takes a lot of willpower. Not just anyone can do that. So, I mean, of course my expectations are extremely high for you. And... I mean, I was completely caught off guard. You've been acting so obedient up until this point. For all I know, maybe you weren't even eating the food that I gave you. You may or may not have been a little more cooperative, if you had been. <laughs> but my smart little puppy probably knew that. <laughs> of course, smart little puppy isn't the Leinstein now, are you? Didn't even cover up your tracks. Maybe you didn't think about it. Maybe it was the adrenaline. Maybe you had too much on your mind. Maybe you just thought I didn't know how to track. Though, I mean, after seeing all my work, everything in the chambers, every little puppy put in their place, I'd be surprised if you didn't think I was good at hunting or tracking. Or at least covering my own tracks. After all, they know me as the sweet, innocent little flower shopkeeper. They call me cute. All of them. <laughs> I always reply with, I'm not cute. I'm scary. And that just feeds more into it. They never would figure out, they would never even assume that maybe I wasn't lying, maybe it wasn't just an act to be even more cuter, you know? Being like, I'm not cute, I'm scary. <laughs> if I wasn't lying, I mean, <laughs> you of course know I'm not, but not everyone gets to see this side of me. <laughs> the Benoit after hours, of course. Oh, you should consider yourself lucky. Oh, no, I have high hopes for you. I hope after a bit of training, a bit more experiments, I'd like to do this again. It's been a long while since I've been able to actually put my tracking skills to use. My hunting. I've been wanting to get rid of this urge of hunting down something. So, consider me giving you a second chance. My thanks. <laughs> I hope we get to have a lot of fun next time too. But don't expect it to be any easier. Now I know what you're capable of. I won't let my precious puppy go to waste now. 
<laughs> I want to make sure I push you to your very edge. After all, people reach their highest potential at their lowest points when they're pushed past their limits. I hope I can get you there. <laughs> now, if you can manage to get to your doggy bowl, there's plenty of food for you. Hopefully, the paralysis will wear off shortly, and hopefully you won't have to dislocate any bones, though I would say the extra leash is a bit more tight than the first. So, <laughs> good luck. Now, if you don't mind me, I have a special someone waiting for me back home. <laughs> and don't forget, my little puppy, you're special. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm home. <laughs> Hi. Did you miss me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a little bit of a late night. Yeah. I mean, you know, now I get into when I'm working on my alchemy and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was a failed experiment or something. <laughs> you don't need to worry. It's okay. I know my hair is a little bit ruffled and, um, Oh, is my sweater ripped? Sorry, I <laughs> didn't notice. Um, it's fine. I have plenty. I mean, it's not like... It's like connected to the flower and stuff, so you don't need to worry. It, it'll fix itself if I don't fix it myself. <laughs> but I'm just glad to see you. <laughs> um, so what did you want to do? I didn't, what did I tell you about staying up late waiting for me? Ugh, but I'm happy to see you. <laughs> now about have you eaten yet? We could either get some food or just go straight to bed. <laughs> Why are you so noisy? Why are you noisy? What do you want? Cat. <laughs> Every little puppy put in their place. Cat. <laughs> <laughs>